I had a chance to speak to Terry Francona earlier in the week. He said to say hello. Uh, he said um, that you were a closet prankster. Would you consider that accurate? Uh, you can probably pick my spots, you know, when, when we, uh, when the opportunity presents itself, but you know, I think, uh, Tito did plenty of that on his own. I think that he, uh, he probably did the brunt of, of that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, but I think that it's, you know, I think when guys in the clubhouse are having fun with each other, um, you know, usually goes hand in hand with, with playing good baseball. And, you know, I think it, it helps to keep the environment loose, uh, you know, throughout the course of 162 games, it's obviously a long season. Uh, you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again every day. So, you know, I think keeping guys loose and, and having a, a fun environment in the clubhouse goes a long way towards, towards making that a, you know, better experience for everybody. Corey, what was your reaction yesterday when you heard that fans are going to be allowed into the regular season games? And when you've been pitching in spring training games in front of limited fans, can you hear individual fans out there? Yeah, uh, even though spring training's been limited with the number and stuff, I, I still strongly believe that, you know, some fans are better than no fans. Uh, you know, I think that we probably, as players, didn't realize, you know, necessarily how, how much we appreciate having fans in stands until, you know, last year when there weren't any. Uh, obviously, I think, what was it, 20% that they were going to be allowed to have? Uh, that's that's a lot better than zero. So, I mean, I know obviously everybody is hoping to get to, to hundred percent capacity sooner than later. Um, but I think having, having any fans in the stands makes it a, it a, it a more fun environment. You know, I think that players definitely feed off that, that energy that fans bring. Um, so I think it's, it's definitely a positive step in the right direction. Then have you been able to hear individuals this spring training when you're pitching in front of fans? Um, I don't really recall any individuals that I specifically noticed, but I mean, I think just having that kind of that buzz of having people in the stands, that, that constant noise instead of dead quiet, you know, that's probably the most noticeable, noticeable thing that I've, you know, felt. Thank you. Yep. Next question goes to Lindsay Adler. Lindsay, please unmute. Hey, Corey, I'm curious. And, you know, in the time that you were away from the field over the last couple of years, how engaged were you with the sport um, and sort of was it difficult to remain engaged in, in baseball and sort of like, what was that process like for you? Um, in 2019, it wasn't at all. Uh, I mean, I was with the team rehabbing with the team and up until I had my oblique injury, uh, you know, I, I, even after that, honestly, I uh, still had the goal in mind of, of trying to come back and we were in a playoff race and trying to help the team, you know, get to the postseason. Uh, so, so that wasn't difficult in any sense in that year. Um, last year, I'd be lying if I said it was a wasn't a little bit more difficult uh, just because of with the pandemic going on and everything, um, you know, it, I wasn't able to stay with the team to rehab. So went home and, you know, just not being in the clubhouse every day, not seeing the guys, definitely harder to, um, you know, stay engaged on that same level. Uh, you know, I, I watched this, I watched games. Um, you know, I still paid attention to what was going on in the league, stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, just being away from the team, you know, was definitely a different feeling. And you've, you've said that you feel good this spring. And so I'm curious, you know, what part of sort of getting back out there has been sort of, I guess, what, what have the challenges have been beyond just health? remembering game-like situations, re-engaging with the like anxiety and, and stress of getting back on the mound, like, mm -hmm. you know, beyond just how your body feels, I guess. Yeah. I think that, um, you know, whether it's each kind of progression, I always get like a different, you know, level of adrenaline or anxiety, probably a combination of the two, um, you know, whether it's going from bullpens at home to bullpens with the team to live BPs actually being in a game to eventually, you know, regular season games. But I think that, you know, one of the important things is being able to control the, those feelings. Um, you know, I think that everybody's going to have them. It's normal to have them, but I think that being able to manage them and, and not let it affect you or get in your way, you know, trying to go out there and stuff is, is one of the biggest things that I try to use spring training for. Um, you know, I think that I probably, I probably have a little better idea maybe than I used to of, of how to 
manage those those feelings and those emotions and stuff um so i think that it, it maybe comes back a little bit quicker when you get in those different situations but it's still there for sure 